the many lies of Sam Bankman-Fried. Until recently, Sam Bankman-Fried had one of the largest fortunes in the digital industry world, with an estimated net worth exceeding $16 billion. Yet now, the world can see the truth. Sam Bankman-Fried lies a lot. Like most mark-to-market fortunes that only exist on paper, wealth can evaporate during a liquidity crisis. Bloomberg reported that Sam Bankman-Fried has lost at least $15 billion in personal net worth this week. Rumours are already circulating that he has filed for bankruptcy protection. Less is known about the fortunes of his other colleagues. Forbes estimated that Sam Bankman-Fried's co-founder at FTX, Gary Wang, was personally worth over $4 billion in September. The Realities of Sam Bankman-Fried's Lies Sam Bankman-Fried has made many misleading statements throughout his career. In May, Sam Bankman-Fried applied to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission for a prestigious license to operate direct clearing of futures contracts through FTX.us, claiming that FTX had superior technology and abilities versus any other domestic clearing house. Fast forward just a few months and FTX is now insolvent. He billed himself as a philanthropist and effective altruist, yet he donated almost none of his wealth. Most of his promises were to donate in the future, upon death. Sam Bankman-Fried said he would donate $1 billion to influence the next US presidential election and spend north of $100 million on contributions to political campaigns during this year's midterms elections. Sam Bankman-Fried only donated $40 million to political action committees and campaigns, most of it going to support the Democrat Party. He backtracked on his promise to donate $1 billion, calling it a quote, dumb quote. Sam Bankman-Fried tweeted and then deleted a claim that FTX funds are safe in the wake of chaos, caused by an apparent back and forth between Sam Bankman-Fried and Binance CEO Champeng Shao. That was certainly a lie. Withdrawal requests were suspended altogether. Sequoia wrote down its stake in FTX to zero dollars. In August 2022, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation sent a letter to FTX.us, ordering it to stop claiming that the exchange had a deposit insurance policy with the corporation. In a since-deleted tweet, Sam Bankman-Fried claimed it was a misunderstanding, and FTX.us meant that it worked with Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation insured banks. As recently as September 19th, 2022, Sam Bankman-Fried boasted about FTX having $1 billion to spend on acquisitions and bailouts. Even Champagne Shao questioned Sam Bankman-Fried's reasoning in snapping up bankrupt companies like Voyager Digital and Celsius Network, calling them bad deals. Sam Bankman-Fried posted a proposed regulatory framework that mostly favoured the business interests of FTX, misleading the public by claiming that it was pro-crypto. The list of lies by Sam Bankman-Fried are too long to enumerate. His misstatements have exacerbated the meltdown of his digital asset empire. Now he could face criminal penalties. The US Justice Department is investigating FTX. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter and Google News, or listen to our investigative podcast, Innovated Blockchain City.